Hey everyone, Pinche Al here, and finally, finally, finally it's here. Um, thank you all Patreon members. Luis, big ol' hey ho. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's here. It is here. The VR6 engine head all fully decked, freaking honed, cleaned. I mean, everything that we needed is done, and now it's ready for a rebuild. Um, the crank's in the, uh, on the floor inside the passenger side. So, what I want to show you guys is that we're going to get this going. We're going to put it in my garage. We're going to load it up on the cherry picker. Uh, we're going to get it on the engine stand. And then, uh, tonight, uh, at around 9 o'clock, we're going to get online. We're going to go live, or we're going to do... A uh, shopping list of what we need to build this engine now this engine we're refreshing to stock specifications meaning this engine is going to be built like it's just a complete refresh completely refreshed for Luis uh, he wants just a really good reliable engine it's gonna last some 50 million miles obviously not like that's not gonna happen but pretty much get him a good five ten years out of this you know, so let's uh, let's get to work. Let's load this sucker up. So let's get this head out. All right, let's all the stem seals in here. We gotta pull those guys out. Good thing they're easy to pull out on these blocks. <gasps> Look how pretty! Look at that! She's a beauty. So, show you guys here. You guys can see that all the uh, valve seats have been grinded. The head's been decked. Beautiful, beautiful work here. Uh, everything's been cleaned off, hot tanked. The only thing we need to do on this block, I mean, this head, is pull all the stem seals out and install all the new stem seals and then pretty much. Rebuild the top of the head with new valves, springs, all that goody goody stuff. Um, so awesome, awesome. And we're gonna go grab the, the crank. Now, the head is aluminum, but the block and the head are a cast iron, so they will rust. You guys gotta understand that. So, because of that, we have to make sure we, once we get everything inside the uh, Inside the garage, we need to start covering things with oil uh, to prevent any type of rusting. Uh, rust will cause uh, premature failure to bearings, uh, cause any weird little issues. So the crank has been polished and cleaned. So what we need to do is oil all these little uh, lobes up to make sure this is all taken care of. But you can see it's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful crank. So, good work over there at Paradise Motorsports. Gotta give it to them. Gotta give it to them. They always do great work for us. So, the block is stupid heavy. So, I'm gonna get my uh, little roller and roll that sucker in. I am not carrying that. <laughs> so, I'll be right back, guys. So, here's the block. Hot tanked, decked, all cleaned up. So the next step for us on this block is to clean up all the mating surfaces for the uh, timing covers. We're going to order new, all new hardware for timing, all new chain, everything is going to get replaced. Um, the metal bar for the oil pump that goes here, I mean all of that's going to get replaced and serviced correctly. So that way when we uh, start building we know everything's refreshed running correctly and all brand new pretty much so beautiful work um, done here at um, Paradise Motorsports for this block um, so can't wait to get this start building so um, Luis is going to have to make the decision on what this block is going to look like and what color we're going to paint it so hopefully it makes a good choice uh, let's see so I'll show you guys in a little bit I'm going to put this block on an engine stand and show you guys what's going on. So I got my engine stand, but I forgot that the engine bracket is at the other garage, so I won't be able to put this on the stand right now until later tonight. So sorry guys, I guess I have to cut this video a little short today. Um, but 
the good news is tonight we are going to go shopping for all the internals for this meaning we're going to be shopping for uh, main bearings rod bearings piston rings we're going to be shopping for um uh what's it called Oof. Uh, gaskets um valves uh pretty much all the uh, timing kit let's see what else we need uh, probably a new oil pan we got a lot of stuff that we need to take care of so thank you I guess I'll show you guys later uh, when we get to that point now tonight so thank you for tuning in see you guys tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific time because it's gonna be important we all need to get together and shop together and uh, maybe uh, brainstorm on what else we need to do for this engine for Luis uh, since he got a killer deal on the machining, so he should save. He's got some extra money now to spend on uh, building this motor for him, for him. So maybe he can go, maybe treat himself a little bit. Who knows? Let's see what he wants to do. All right, guys. Peace out. I'll see you guys soon.